Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Tuesday, 28th of June 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of this morning, we certainly have had a very, very impressive gap higher. Uh, in terms of Asian markets, well, first of all, US markets certainly finished negative, certainly finished weak on the back of this uh, uh, UK credit rating downgrade. Uh, now, overnight in Asia, we certainly have bounced off the lows. The Nikkei in the hand, the uh, Shanghai finishing more or less flat. Well, well actually, the uh, Shanghai actually making a late stage rally, although the Hang Seng certainly finished negative. Okay. In terms of the FTSE this morning, a very, very impressive rally. We're up 135 points, up by 2.25%. DAX up 2%, CAC up 2%, Euro stocks up almost 2%. So, certainly an impressive rally this morning. In terms of economic data this morning, uh, really import prices out of Germany, certainly um, uh, stronger than expected, therefore indicating a stronger euro, and therefore the euro itself has spiked up to 1.1070. Uh, consumer spending, basic consumer confidence came in in line in, in France, although retail sales in uh, Spain certainly came out weaker. Uh, in terms of economic data overnight from the US, uh, good trade balance certainly weaker, market PMI slightly stronger, Market services PMI coming in line and Dallas Meta Fed certainly coming in slightly stronger than expected. So overall net net strong dollar, okay, to a large extent. And obviously we all know the Brexit uncertainty exists, uh, uncertainty regarding the Spanish election, uncertainty in terms of Eurozone going forward, given the fact that the UK has obviously uh, chose to uh, exit. So again, uh, uh, certainly exerting pressure there. In terms of technicals, let's bring this up for you. Be sure to visit cfds.com as well, folks, and take advantage of the 25% uh, cash bonus offer. Okay, let's bring up the chart of uh, the European indices. Bear with me. Let's start off with the FTSE 100. Now, a stellar rally this morning. A stellar rally this morning from the FTSE. Let's bring up the chart of oil first of all. Let's see exactly how oil is faring. Now, oil certainly has bounced, as you can see from here. The double bottom certainly is holding for now. 60-minute uh, chart of oil itself certainly has bounced from the lows. Even though it made a new low, it has bounced from those lows. It is coming into resistance now, though. I mean, you could take your diagonal trend line and certainly uh, indicate resistance here. So, again, looking for resistance on the uh, price of oil now, and certainly the FTSE coming under some pressure here. Okay. Uh, in terms of copper, we've had uh, quite an impressive move in copper overnight as well. Uh, if you look at a 60-minute chart, you can see copper now is coming into resistance and therefore coming to uh, a potential move lower. We've had a rally in the Aussie and the Kiwi overnight as well. The Aussie is certainly rallying off the pivot lower, that double bottom there. Okay, Into that FIB 61% now on the Aussie, certainly expecting a price or a move lower. A Kiwi as well, certainly an impressive move overnight in Kiwi, as you can see. Certainly impressive move off that 0 06 so turning a double bottom uh, trigger, okay, again, uh, you certainly have resistance here now and here and here, okay, so again, looking for weakness, okay, given the, uh, obviously, uh, credit concerns uh, in the UK. So certainly under, under undergoing some resistance here, and that will certainly keep a cap on the FTSE 100. Let's go back to the FTSE itself now, okay, in terms of the FTSE, a very impressive move. The gap fill is 5980, that remains, okay, uh, we certainly have pushed higher. The unfilled gap remains as well at 6160. Very unlikely for that to close, uh, given the uh, situation at present. But for now, looking for a, a retracement. If I uh, take the pivot low, which was 5960, to the high, which is 6120 thus far, uh, looking for at least a 38% retracement on the FTSE here, at least minimum, which is around the 6060 zone. Okay, so looking for a flush lower on the FTSE, given the fact that oil is obviously into resistance at present. Okay, so certainly looking for weakness there. Okay, looking at the 60-minute chart on the FTSE, you can see that we've had a bounce, the pivot low. We are into that FIB 61% resistance now, and therefore looking for weaker prices. 5,900 certainly seems to be the key support zone, and the pivot low at 5,950 will go into play as well. Okay, uh, looking at a daily chart, the FTSE 100, uh, inside bar, the upper channel or upper level of resistance, the band of resistance really is the... Uh, uh, one at uh, 6130, 6140. Very unlikely for us to hit or any, get anywhere close up to that from my perspective. Uh, certainly looking for weakness. Okay, again, you have uh, support at 5920, and that will be certainly uh, tested from my perspective. Uh, either way, uh, we must follow uh, fundamentals and fundamentals at present, given the credit downgrade and given the uncertainty, a political uncertainty in the UK. The latest news from Mr. 
Osborne it states that the spending will be cut and uh, taxes will rise and that certainly isn't a uh, a bullish concoction that certainly is very bearish okay so again uh, bias remains bearish from that okay in terms of the uh, or European indices certainly in, in, uh, stellar performance here again it's an inside bar within an inside bar so yesterday's price action certainly been contained within that okay a uh, 60 minute chart you can certainly see we've had quite an impressive gap higher if I take the pivot high take it to the pivot low you are into that fib 50% resistance okay uh, so you are certainly experiencing resistance here on the German DAX, okay? 10-minute chart on German DAX, you are into that previous support equals resistance up to 9480. Uh, again, that will act as resistance for the German DAX and force this index lower, okay? Again, unfilled gap. Unfilled gap remains at 9260, and that's the zone that we certainly need to target on the downside, okay, for European indices. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's bring up the CAC for you. Again, the French CAC is impressive thrust higher, okay. But again, we are in lower lows and lower highs. We made we made a lower high uh, yesterday, and obviously looking for uh, and a lower low, uh, and again looking for a lower high again, potentially testing that lower low again. So, say the lower lows, lower highs exist and persist, okay. Uh, in terms of the daily chart on the French CAC, you certainly did bounce off that gap fill, okay. But you do have one more gap to fill below, so again, be mindful of that, okay. 60-minute chart certainly indicating bearishness. 10-minute chart on the French CAC at the moment. Certainly in no man's land from my perspective, uh, really in terms of the French CAC. You obviously have that resistance of pivot high from yesterday. So that certainly is looking to hold. Obviously, you have double top resistance here. Uh, you did have resistance, or you do have resistance here. Uh, the resistance zone here hasn't been respected. So again, it's all about a gap fill below, okay? Is whether or not the uh, the market just justified a, a hundred and uh, let's have a look on the uh, CAC itself. You certainly have a uh, almost a uh, hundred point gap high. So again, uh, the majority of that gap certainly needs to claw back. Even if we can claw back 50% of that gap, will be impressive. Okay, will be impressive. So again, watch out for that gap fill. So a zone on the French CAC you're looking at here. Previous resistance equals support. So you're looking at around a 9030 zone. So you're looking for at least a 30, 40 drop from here, okay? Looking for a 30, 40 point drop from here, folks, okay? Again, looking at the Euro stocks, let's bring up the Euro stocks now. Euro stocks certainly has enjoyed uh, a, a impressive rally too, okay? Let's bring up the stock chart of Euro stocks. Here we go, Euro stocks, okay? Still an inside bar though, still holding that upper bound at 2767, so that certainly is an inside bar, certainly looking to hold. 60 minute chart, yes, we've had a thrust higher. Uh, impressive we've taken out the resistance at 27555 and 2730 so very very impressive either way uh, one needs to be cognizant now of a potential inverted head and shoulders formation okay so that uh, they provided that uh, head holds and then looking for a reversal so it's certainly bearish at present but will not be bearish for too long okay so again looking for a retrace at present using your fibonacci retracement tool take the pivot high to the pivot low we're still in lower lows and lower highs so again can't get too excited in terms of the uh, the, the upside for now okay given the fact that we're still bearish okay we still have the unfilled gap below as well you have unfilled gap at 2700 that needs to be filled okay so watch out for that gap below okay at 2700 okay so again looking to flush down to gap fill which is around the uh, Two six uh, two seven hundred level. Okay, so again, lower lows, lower highs, and we are into that fib fifty to sixty percent resistance, and therefore looking for a move lower. Okay, folks. Right, I think that's a summation then of the um, euro stocks as well. It's going to a ten minute chart. You clearly see. Looking for a fib retracement, and certainly expecting it. You can certainly see we are into that fib. 61% resistance zone now. So again, looking for a retracement, looking for resistance. Okay. You certainly have a key zone here, and here is your resistance level. So again, watch out for those zones. Okay, those zones will be quite important in terms of the uh, euro stock. So certainly indicating weakness. Again, you have the unfilled gap below that will be targeted around the 2700 level, and certainly looking for that gap to uh, potentially close. Okay especially given the fact that Aussie, Kiwi and, and commodities are into resistance. So certainly expecting resistance here, folks. Now let's just quickly look at the US market chart, see if you could project any resistance there. 2016 on the S&P 500. We're currently at 2016 now, S&P, S&P. So the S&P has failed to hold a 200 MA. Um, realistically, you had gap fill here. That was the gap that we certainly closed in the daily chart. Okay, that was the gap. And then we certainly bounced from that gap. 
okay you have horizontal support at 1970 and then 1950 so again one needs to be remain cognizant of that in terms of a daily chart of the S&P 500 any retest of 2030 will be resistance previous support equals resistance okay looking at the 60 minute chart at the moment you have an unfilled gap at 2037 certainly a downtrend is uh, intact okay uh, again you had this support zone here which is 2026 so any retrace of any previous support will act as resistance currently have this bear flag formation here as well so certainly looking for a price movement lower so bias really from my perspective remains bearish certainly looking for a move lower overall okay looking for a move lower okay so certainly looking for weakness here Okay, looking for weakness again, looking for a lower high, whether it's at the uh, we're currently at 2016 now, 2016. So, again, can't even use a fib retracement here to be honest with you, but certainly a try uh, to the pivot high to the pivot low. Uh, okay, and your first rebel resistance will be that 2036 zone. Uh, given the fact that uh, Asian market certainly did move higher, certainly did bounce, but nothing substantial, nothing to, to, to confirm a real pivot high, a real pivot move. Uh, so, again looking for weakness from my perspective certainly looking for weakness okay i think that's a, a wrap in terms of uh, the uh, the actual markets itself certainly FTSE into resistance given the, uh, the talk of uh, cutting spending and obviously raising taxes that certainly is very bearish uh, and certainly looking for a move lower again a thrust lower you're looking at the first potential test at 6060 on the FTSE so watch out for 6060 and thereafter we'll see and after reassess Okay, uh, I think that's a wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Uh, and as always, certainly take advantage of that potential bonus. And certainly go visit tradesignal.com and download the latest app. Goodbye now.